Welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing polynomial and this is lecture number 4. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 3 before watching this part 4. In this uh, lecture, we are going to discuss some questions and some problems we will uh, discuss um, where we left in the last class. So, let us discuss some questions of exercise 2.2 uh, of NCRT. Exercise 2.2. NCRT. We are going to our uh, first question we had discussed in the last class. Now we are going to discuss second question. In this question, what they are saying that sum of roots and product of roots are given. You have to find the quadratic polynomial. So in this question, it is written that find a quadratic polynomial. Find a quadratic polynomial polynomial which sum of zeros sum of zeros and product of zeros are given product of zeros are given zeros are given right so few questions are given uh, for subsections like 1 2 3 4 so let us discuss one by one the first question is sum of that is 1 by 4 and minus 1. These are the two zeros. So, we know the equation which uh, zeros are given quadratic polynomial. Quadratic polynomial is given. Polynomial is nothing else but we have learned the formula and that is what? K times of x square minus sum of zeros zeros into x plus product of zeros right now we will just put there and nothing else and that will be the polynomial so px is a polynomial and now k times of x square sum of zeros are 1 by 4 minus 1 plus 1 by 4 into x plus product of zeros is minus 1 into 1 by 4 and what is that k times of this is uh, minus 4 minus minus plus x square plus 3x by 4 and uh, minus 1 by 4 is equal is given and that can be also further written as 4x square 4k and that can be written as 4x square plus 3x minus 1. So this is a polynomial. This constant can be ignored uh, because this is a basic polynomial sum of zeros and product of zeros are given so you can write in that way so second question uh, similarly we can go for second question and the second question has the zeros are uh, root 2 and 1 by 3 so similarly polynomial is equal to nothing else but k times of x square minus sum of zeros that is root 2 plus 1 by 3 into x plus product of 0 root 2 into 1 by 3 and that it can be written as so k times of this is the root 2 by 3 so that can be 3x square minus 3 root 2 plus 1 into x plus root 2 and that 3 else will be 3 so this 3 can come outside like this so k by 3 into this this is a polynomial so second question is like this. Similarly, you can do all those questions because all of them are quite easy one. Just you have need to put the values. The zeros are zero and that polynomial is equal to x square minus sum of zeros. zeros. Right? So that will be that is polynomial. Now, oh, so in that case, what will happen? X square minus root five x like this and that will be 0 and this must be k times so k is an arbitrary constant so that can be written like this so that will be the answer now the fourth question is what is fourth question that is 1 and 1 2 zeros are given these are 1 and 1 1 and 1 so again we can write the same polynomial what is that px is equal to k times of x square minus 1 plus 1 into x plus product of 0 that is 1 plus 1 
So we can write directly k times of x square minus 2x plus 1 and that would be the answer. For fifth question, again there is minus 1 by 4 and 1 by 4. So write polynomial is equal to x square k times of x square minus sum of 0 1 by 4 plus minus 1 by 4 it will be minus 0. Right now. So it will be 0 plus 1 by 4 and minus 1 by 4 is 0. So we can write 1 by 4 minus 1 by 4 and plus 1 by 4 that will be 0 into x plus product of 0 that is 1 by 4 into minus 1 by 4. So that can come like k into x square that will be 0 and that should be minus 1 by 16. So we can write further it as k by 16 into 16x square minus 1. So that is the way you can write it, you can represent it. Okay. Now this one more part in this question is that is question number 6, part 6 is there and that is 4 and 1. These are the two zeros. So, polynomial px is equal to x square minus sum of zeros into x plus product of zeros that you can write k times of this. So, polynomial will be nothing else but x square minus 5x plus 4 and that will be the answer. So, I hope you got it. So, in all these questions you can see the k is an arbitrary constant as I had discussed. If I put here k is equal to 1 by 4 like that, if I take if k is equal to 1 by 4, then what will happen? This 4k will be 1 and therefore polynomial is 4x square plus 3x minus 1 is answer. Polynomial is like this. Similarly here, if I put k is equal to 3, if k is equal to 3, then in that case, if k is equal to 3, in that case polynomial can be 3x square minus 3 root 2 plus 1 into x plus root 2. This is the polynomial, right? Now. So that can be answered. And uh, moreover, you can take any arbitrary, even though you can leave it like that also. But here, if I put k is equal to 1, because it, it will be number of polynomials, so that would be the same polynomial, and that will be the answer. So here, if I put k is equal to 1, so in that case, this polynomial will be x square minus 2x plus 1. And uh, that will be the answer. So k is an arbitrary constant, as I told you. You can take k according to your convenience. If I put here k is equal to 16, then polynomial will be 16x square minus 1 is an answer. So this is a polynomial. Okay. So I hope you got it. Similarly, here if I put k is equal to 1, for k is equal to 1, polynomial will be x square minus 5x plus 4 and that will be the answer. So, you can go ahead with this concept and uh, even though you can write answer like this also, then uh, just write that k is an arbitrary constant. So, there will be no problem at all. Okay. So, polynomial is just written in form of x square plus k plus c. So that is why it is written like this. Okay. And question A, question number 3. I write the quadratic polynomial. Quadratic polynomial whose product and sum of zeros are whose product and sum of zeros are zeros are minus 9 by 2 and minus 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 respectively Take. so again you have to go with the same process solution what is the solution polynomial h polynomial x h x square minus sum of 0 that is alpha plus beta into x plus product of 0 and that is k times you know. So here alpha plus beta sum of 0 is given minus 9 by 2 
and product of 0 that is alpha into beta is minus 3 by 2. So if I will put all these informations in the given equation, then what will come? If I will put all this, then polynomial px is equal to k times of x square minus minus 9 by 2 into x plus minus 3 by 2. So if I can write k into 2x square plus 9x minus 3 whole divided by 2, right now. So if for k is equal to 2, this 2 and this 2 will cancel. So for k is equal to 2, 2 polynomial will be px is equal to, what will be that 2, 2 cancels out, 2x square plus 9x minus 3 and that will cancel. So accordingly you can write it, there is no problem at all. I hope so, you got it. Uh, one question you must be arising in your mind that why I am writing always k is equal to 2 or somewhere I will write k is equal to 1. I want to write k in such a way that these two will cancel out and vanishes and there will be no terms left in denominator. Why it is so? Because polynomial is always in form of ax square plus bx plus c where a, b, c are some constants. So I am writing like this way. So that is why this is in form of basically which is in form of, which is in form of this, right now, in form of this. So that is why I am writing like this. Now there is another question and that question, question number 4 and what is this, right now? In this question it is given that find a quadratic polynomial, similar question, find a quadratic polynomial, quadratic polynomial. Whose product of zeros and sum of zeros are whose product of zeros product of zeros and sum of zeros are and sum of zeros are are two minus root three and two plus root three respectively. Right. So, we want to write a polynomial which product of 0 is sorry. So, it, in this question, the alpha into beta product of 0 is 2 minus root 3 and alpha plus beta sum of 0 is given 2 plus root 3. So, now we can write equation as polynomial as px is equal to k times of x square minus alpha plus beta into x. So, I am writing here directly, right? Plus product of 0 that is 2 minus root 3. This will be the equation. And we can put k is equal to 1. For k is equal to 1, this is the polynomial will be x square minus 2 plus root 3 into x plus 2 minus root 3 is equal to the answer. This is the polynomial. So we can write like this. I hope you got it. Hmm? Okay. But let us think alternatively. Um, question should be, I think there is a correction of whether I don't know whether it is the same in NCR or not. But uh, there is a correction, there should be correction here. Zeros are question should be like that. Here zeros are zeros are zeros. Well, question should be like this. Let me write the complete question. Uh, if it was not, find the quadratic polynomial. Quadratic polynomial whose zeros are zeros are two minus root three and two plus root three respectively. Two minus root three and two plus root three because in uh, zeros are always coming in pairs. So, irrational zeros are coming in pairs. So, this should be the right question, I think so. So, if this was the question, then how we can solve it? Then say alpha is 2 plus root 3 and beta is say 2 minus root 3, 2 zeros. Then sum of zeros is 2 plus root 3 
plus 2 minus root 3, then root 3, root 3 cancels out, 2 plus 2 will be 4, and product of 0 is, is 2 plus root 3 into 2 minus root 3, that will be 2 a square a plus b into a minus b minus b a square, that is 4 minus 3 is equal to 1. So, sum of zeros in that case will be 4 and product of zeros will be 1. And in that case, the polynomial will be like, and therefore, polynomial will be like, polynomial px will be k times of x square minus alpha plus beta sum of zeros into x plus product of zeros and that will be x square minus alpha plus beta is 4x plus alpha into beta 1. k I have taken 1. You can take it any arbitrary constant. If there is no fraction value, you can take it as 1. So, this is a polynomial. I hope so. This will be the right question. This should be the right question. Okay. Now, in question number 5, if I think so, question number 5 is, Find the zero of the quadratic polynomial and verify the relationship between. Find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial. Quadratic polynomial. Polynomial. Find the zeros of the quadratic polynomial. X square. P x is given like x square minus root 3 plus 1 into x plus root 3 that is a polynomial and verify the relationship between sum of zeros and product of zero between sum of zeros and product of zero. This is the similar like question of what we did in the first question, product of zero. So, nothing special about it, but still, because this is a question, so I need to solve it. So, solution is like that. For to find zero, we have to put px is equal to zero, and that will give you x square minus root 3x, right, minus x plus root 3 is equal to 0. So, if I would take x common then x minus root 3, if I take minus 1 plus root 3 is equal to 0 and that may come x minus root 3 and x minus 1 is equal to 0. So, further we can write it like x is equal to root 3 or x is equal to 1 because x minus 1 is equal to 0 then x is equal to 1. So, these are the two roots. Now, sum of roots is what is it? Comparing with, we can compare it with another one. Comparing with the given equation, comparing with ax square plus bx plus c with given equation, given polynomial, we have a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus of root 3 plus 1 and c is equal to root 3. So, now uh, let us check it. What is that? Sum of zeros is sum of zeros that is minus root 3 plus 1 minus root 3 and plus 1 and what is this? This is uh, root 3 sum of zeros is uh, root 3 alpha is root 3 and beta is 1, so root 3 plus 1. So, that can be written as minus of root 3 minus root 3 plus 1 or even you can write it like this. Minus of minus root 3 plus 1 like this and this is what b. So, that upon 1 can be written minus minus 1 and this is what minus b by a. So, sum of 0 is minus b by a. Now, similarly, we can go for product of 0. So, product of 0 is root 3 into 1. What is that? Root 3. 
and this can be also written root 3 by a and what is that root 3 c and a is 1. So product of 0 is c by a, sum of 0 is minus b by a. So both relations are valid. So relations are verified. So this are verified. Right? So that is verified. So I hope you got it. So this is the question number 5. Now one more question was there and that one question number 6. So let us discuss question number 6. What is this? Find the zeros of the polynomial of the polynomial x cube minus 5x square minus 2x minus plus 24. Right now, find the zeros of the polynomial whose product of two zeros is product of two zeros is 12. So, how to solve this question? Solution. We need to solve because it is a cubic polynomial, so of course, there will be three zeros. So let alpha, beta, gamma be three zeros. Zeros of polynomial. Polynomial. This x cube minus 5x square minus 2x plus 24. Right now. So these are the three zero of the polynomial. I hope you got it. So as per formula we have learned so far. The sum of zeros is sum of zeros alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to uh, comparing. Let us first write comparison for a cubic polynomial. Comparing with comparing with comparing with cubic polynomial. Comparing with with cubic polynomial polynomial ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus b we have a is equal to 1 b is nothing else but minus 5 c is minus 2 and d is 24 we have the relationship that alpha plus beta plus gamma is minus b by a alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma is equal to c by a and alpha beta gamma is equal to minus d by a. This is what the relation we have learned. Here what is given? Given that product of two polynomials say alpha and beta is 12. So here uh, we can use this. This is given product of zero is given and you can use it this relationship isn't it so if i use it then what will come so that will come like uh, sum of the minus b by a so what is that minus of minus 5 that is 5 and 1 c by a that is minus 2 by 1 and this is d by a so minus 24 by 1 but alpha beta gamma is minus 24 so from third this is third equation alpha beta gamma is minus 24 this is 12 into gamma is minus 24 so clearly gamma is minus 2 gamma is minus 2 now, if I put alpha beta, then we will get it in this equation. If I put alpha b plus beta from first relation, alpha plus beta plus gamma is minus is 5. Alpha plus beta plus gamma is 5 only. So that is 5 and if I put gamma is minus 2, so alpha plus beta minus 2 is 5 and this employee alpha plus beta is equal to 7. This is the um, 
this is fourth equation this is fifth one no fifth one i can say now the third relationship is given here that alpha plus alpha beta plus beta gamma alpha beta i have taken what 12 from second that is alpha beta plus beta gamma plus alpha gamma is equal to minus 2 and alpha beta is 12 if i took gamma common then alpha plus beta left into gamma is equal to minus 2 and even i can put value of gamma here so alpha plus beta into gamma is nothing else but minus 2 is equal to 12 will come this side it will be minus 14 and minus minus cancel and so what alpha plus beta is again uh, 7 so you can use any one of them even you can calculate it like this but since alpha beta is already calculated and alpha beta uh, product of 0 that is alpha beta is 12 so you can easily calculate without doing this so this is not necessary to solve this question i am just uh, showing this that how you can calculate from either second or third there is no need to go because this is a linear uh, thing so without doing this even because alpha beta you know and alpha plus beta you know so you can calculate it by quadratic formula so what is that even in this lesson i am just showing this that you can calculate either that way or this way alpha plus beta h 7 and alpha beta h 12 so what is that if there are positive value then you can easily calculate because alpha beta is 12 so one is 4 and another is 3 so obviously from these two uh, this one i have calculated from first one and alpha beta is 12 alpha plus beta is 7 so we can calculate solving 4 and 5 solving 5 and 6 5 and 6 we have um, alpha is equal to alpha plus beta is alpha is equal to 4 and beta is 3 or vice versa it can be 3 4 so any one of them is 3 and another one is 4 simply it cannot be minus 3 minus 4 no because minus 3 minus 4 product will be 12 but sum will not be equal to 7 so that is why so two roots are alpha and beta one can solve it by using quadratic beta is equal to 12 by alpha we can say so we can solve like this alpha is equal to beta is equal to 12 by alpha is equal to 7 and that is alpha square plus 12 whole divided by alpha you know uh, is equal to 7 so we can write alpha square plus 12 plus 7 is equal to 7 alpha you know and further we can write it like there is no problem you can solve it like that also alpha is further solving for learners plus 12 is equal to 0 and now we can do go with the further that product of these two is 12 and this will be alpha square minus 4 alpha minus 3 alpha plus 12 is equal to 0 so again i can take alpha common so alpha minus 4 will left and if I would take 3 common, then alpha minus 4 will left is equal to 0. If I would take alpha minus 3 and common, then alpha minus 4 will come. So either alpha minus 3 is equal to 0 and alpha minus 4 is equal to 0. In that case, alpha is equal to 4 or 3 respectively. So when alpha is equal to 3, beta is equal to 4. And when beta alpha is equal to 4, then beta is equal to 3. So these two other roots. So all three roots are what? 4, 3 and minus 2. So three roots are 3, 0 jar, 0 jar. Further in uh, next topic you will understand that this 0 jar called roots of the equation. So that is 3, 4 and minus 2 any one of them can be considered as alpha, beta or gamma, right now? So that will be the answer of this question. So hopefully you got this, how to deal with such questions and what the criteria. So because one relationship is given, this is what we have learned in the beginning of the class. So 
yesterday. So uh, this is what alpha plus beta plus gamma. That is minus d by a alpha beta beta gamma alpha gamma is c by a and alpha beta gamma that is minus d by a. I started this in the previous lecture. So you can go ahead. You can take any one of them as product of two zero g is twelve. This is what given here. You must learn this that product of zero g is twelve is given. So product of zero g is twelve. So I have used this. No? That any one of them can be considered as alpha, another one can be considered as beta. So that's all about it. So in next class we will continue the topic and we will discuss some more idea how to deal with the roots and coefficients and zero job polynomial. And till then we will revise all those these topics once again and see you in the next class. Okay. So if you haven't subscribed this channel, please subscribe it and share among your friends as well. Thank you.